we can simplify inside first or we can remove the bracket by using the power of equation rule let us simplify inside first so 25 the whole to the power one half therefore we will factorize it into square five square 16 is four square and here 8 to the power 5 and 8 to the power negative 3 we can combine them we can move 8 to the, 8 to the power negative 3 up to the numerator by changing the sign of the exponent so 8 to the power negative 3 goes up to the numerator and it becomes 8 to the power 3 so multiply 8 to the power 5 by 8 to the power 3 results in 8 to the power 8 by the rule of product with the same base. And here if we move y to the power negative 5 above, y to the power negative 5 becomes y to the power positive 5. And in the numerator, if you multiply y to the power negative 1 and y to the power 5, you will get y to the power negative 1 plus 5. 4. Yeah, you get this. After that, distribute the exponent 1 half to the numerator. And also denominator by the power of a quotient root. Now, in the numerator, the exponent one half can be distributed to each factor by power of a product root. Like this. And y to the power 2 to the power 1 half is equal to 4 to the power 2 to the power 1 half is equal to 4 to the power 2 times 1 half. Now, 2 times 1 half is 1. 4 to the power 1 is 4. So leave this. Now in the numerator, 5 squared to the power 1 half is equal to 5 to the power 1 half 2 times 1 half. 2 times 1 half is 1. 5 to the power 1 is 5. 8 to the power 8 to the power 1 half is equal to 8 to the power 8 times 1 half 8 to the power 4 by power of power root and y to the power 4 to the power 1 half is equal to y to the power 4 times 1 half square so this is the answer